Hello! We are playing Great War, Scenario 6, Fight for the Trenches. We are playing the German side. We are in a lead, 2-0. Two to zero. Um, And we are ready to begin turn 4. But before we do that, I will just mention a little correction I did. Um, if you watched my last video, I did an attack from this hex to this hex and I throw three dice for that attack, which is wrong obviously, it should be only two so I did actually re-roll that uh, uh, later on uh, and in the old result I got one HQ token and one uh, hit of these due to a burst symbol uh, in my reroll, I, I got another burst symbol, so there's still a hit here, but I didn't get any HQ token, so I have returned one from my pile here to the to the pool. So we are ready for turn four then, and um, the British go first. So let's see what they have. Okay, they have an assault left. That's pretty much the wrong wrong side for them. I mean, on their left they have these very little troops, only those in the back there not reaching my. So, I believe he will try to play a tactician card now and change that section to something else. Let's see if he managed to do that. Oh, sorry. Let's roll again. No, he did not do that. Uh, I think he cannot play this one now. It must be a recon prober attack. This was an assault, so he's, he's not allowed to play that one. He could play the combat espionage. Let's check that. Okay, he chose to play that actually. So here goes. We he placed it, placed this, and it costs him two of his three available HQ tokens. And what he will do is to draw three combat cans, ha uh, cards from my hand, and one of them is returned. I have five of them here, so we'll, you know. We just uh, randomize which ones he will take by rolling a d6. So it's one to five there. Reroll at the six. And uh, I will just roll, you know, two cards that will be discarded. So the first one to be discarded is number two. Oh, that was bad for me. It was the machine gun barrage, which is a really good card right so now it's one to four we got a six we reroll that five reroll again and we got a number three which is the return fire which is my I would say second best card I had so he really took the best ones from my hand as I see it uh, Oh damn, he, he did pick some good choices there from the British point of view. Okay, so he needs to activate on this side and he cannot do the barrage since only battlefield units that may be ordered, you know, so It's not easy for him to do anything good here, but okay, let's do this. Let's advance with the machine guns. They're not doing any good here in the in the back. Lots of Brits out in the open now, I know that, but I at least I try to spread them out so they are not that easily hit in in a cluster for my artillery. 
but I could put some, you know, good artillery here and there and anyway. Uh, about that uh, trench mortar, there. maybe it makes sense now to move that into this hex. I mean, they are then in the middle of uh, my right and, and center, so they can activate with two different cards. And they also can reach more into the middle of the trenches here from this hex. So I think that makes sense to regroup that guy here. And by that, maybe make that more efficient in the future. Okay. So that guy did uh, move so it cannot fire. So we are ready with the activation. Uh, Unlucky with the section cars he had gone, got so far because many of them has targeted his left hand side, which is pretty un uninteresting for him. Okay, so let's grab uh, another one of these, and then he only has one HQ token, so I think he's gonna gr grab some more of those. Yes. Two more, so he's back to three now, and then he also has the option to discard uh, any one of these. I don't know, I'm just putting them here. So, uh, no, I think he has a good hand, so he's happy with that. So, I think we are ready to move on to the German turn. Uh, which means our turn, so... Okay, I have three in the center and an assault right. I think I will go for the... Right... No, the center section activation, because I want to... I mean, he didn't activate this one now, so I have a good chance to get it. Um, yeah, this is what I'm, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play this card and I will activate this unit that may fire, this unit that may fire, and I will also put a um, artillery barrage somewhere. Um, this is a very tempting target hex now. I can hit three other units uh, apart from the uh, center hex there. So that's what I will do. No movement, so we go directly to the combat. Let's see if I can play anything. No. And nor can he, so. I pay three for my four strength barrage since I have the artillery observation advantage on my side and we put the template over this machine gun unit here uh, so I'm also hitting with a 1, a 2 and a 5 okay we got a double we got a double so we are hitting the center hex but we are also hitting with two dice here and we hitting him with the five here uh, the four is outside so pretty good targeting there so let's start with the center hex or the target hex uh, one hit one HQ token not too bad of a result there uh, yeah, remove one of the machine gun guys and then we can roll one die here on his rifle unit. Nothing. Uh, then we all also have two dice on this rifle unit. And he ignores those because he's in trench. Okay, 
that was the artillery fire. He has one figure left there, which is infantry. He also had this bomber one. So I will roll two dice from here. And since I am firing with a bomber, means I also hit with deadly dice. I got this burst, which is enough to kill him. Um, so I will grab yet another victory token. I'm having three of these now. Okay, so I have still not fired with this guy, so I can continue the work that my artillery started, meaning I fire at his machine gun here with one die. And that's a flag which he will ignore. So, I think things are going pretty well for me. Let's discard this, grab another one. More action in the center. Um, still having plenty of those and the artillery observation advantage. I'm not, I'm not using too much of these. So I will grab myself a combat card, which is wire cutters. Totally useless. So I will discard this at once. Uh, can I do that? Yes. I did not play any card, and grab another one of these. Okay. So that's turn four. Uh, not much movement going on. He, he's regrouping some in the back. Uh, Tiller barrage there. And some fire here eliminating his... I think it was the last bomber unit he had actually. Um, I still have... Um, one bomber unit left, I guess. The other one got... No, I have actually two. I had three from the beginning. The other bomber is down here in the communication trench. Or the reserve trench. And I got one there from the beginning, but he managed to kill that guy off with a close combat from that hex, you remember? Okay. Um, we'll see what happens in turn five. Okay, let's see what the British can play for their turn 5. Okay, big show. Okay, so they will roll a number of dice. I need to check how many that was back in a second. Okay, so it's 5 Five dice. Infantry gets uh, activated by soldier symbols. Deadly dice gives orders to gun or mortar, machine gun or mortar, and uh, flags any battlefield unit. And they can also collect HQ tokens by um, getting that symbol. So bursts are the only <coughs> non-valid activation or a rolls basically. I think this is uh, oh, depending on what they roll I think this is a good one for them. Uh, okay so we have two machine gun or mortars activated and three infantry units. I think they're pretty happy with that. Let's also check if there's anything he can play. Actually there isn't. Uh, I could prevent him from doing this by playing this really expensive card and limit him to one unit because another thing with this big show card is that they get uh, one more die in their combat. I have pretty many of these, maybe it's worth to do it. think so. Uh, I 
think it's worth it. Let's do it. We'll play this against him. So we pay six. I know I'm cruel against this poor AI guy, but I need to take my chances. And this was not a cheap card to play, so he can only use one of these dice basically. And what do he wants to do then? Think. Hmm. Anyway, I think he wants to get one of these guys out in the open into terrain. So let's grab this guy for that. He will jump into the trench. And he still may fire with an additional die, so he will give fire against my machine gun unit here. One, two, three, f uh, it's three hexes away, so it's one die from beginning, but he gets one additional die for the card. Uh, and he misses. So I'm good. So he had a big show coming, but it was prevented by a lost messenger who got lost in the trenches somewhere there, back there, with the orders. So, okay. Anyway, he got one guy, or one unit, into his trenches here, so... Well, that's always something. Okay. So, we grab a new card for him then. And then check how many of those he has. It's three. He rolled a five, so he will grab more of these. Uh, eight Q tokens now. He has now five, actually more than I have now because I paid that pretty uh, expensive card there. Okay, I think we're ready for my turn five now meaning the German turn 5. We have two in the middle or an assault right. Um, I'm actually th I'm, I'm le in a lead of 3 to 0. I need 7. I need to get some action here happening so we we're in a big lead and can take some a great victory if we play our cards all right this time so uh, hmm. should I go on the attack here if I do um, I need to rush my guys a bit, so I will not be able to fire, but... Mm. The other option is actually to have two. Maybe I should wait with the assault anyway and just activate two here. Put another barrage. I will be using my last for that. But that can be pretty efficient. And he still has some guys out in the open. Okay, I anyway do that. I will do that. I will uh, play the probe center instead. So I will activate my reserve artillery and also, uh, it doesn't matter which one. Let's take these guys here, they will fire. Yeah. So, let's go for the barrage. I will pay three for a four strength barrage. And 
will put the template in the same hex as last turn. Okay, so we get a double, which is also four, which is a miss though, but we got two in the middle and we get a two, which I think is a hit, yes, in this trench, and a three, that is a miss. Okay, so we get two on the target hex and one here. Um, let's start with the machine gun in the middle then. Uh, I got an HQ token for that, but no hits, unfortunately, so... Okay, but still I have one die there. That's a deadly die, which is nothing. So, not much happening there. Mm. Okay, but I got one die fired against his machine gun still. And that's a deadly die, which is a miss. Pretty much a lost turn for me. I lost my <sighs> precious HQ tokens there. Okay. We have another one. Outflanked. This is better. This is more like it. So, we have two combat cards. Only one of these. I even I don't even have the money to pay these, so I'll grab more HQ tokens for this turn. Should I discard? No. I'm happy with that. Now I can pay for both of these actually with my three HQ tokens. That was turn five. Pretty uh, non-effective turn for both sides, right? He had a big show coming, but I was able to prevent that from happening. So I only got one guy in here in the trench. And for me, I did some barrage there and a fire, but nothing happened. So, quite of a silent turn. But... Yeah, maybe turn 6 has more action in it. Let's see in a while. Storm of Fire. Okay. He can open fire with 4 units in ranged combat. There's nothing to augment that, and I have nothing to prevent that. So, pretty sure he will activate those two. And that guy that went into the trenches, so those three are activated. Let's also activate something in this. Ah! No, let's just take these four. These four will attack with another additional die. So, I think he's very interested in trying to grab a medal now. So he will fire from here to here. It's two dice from scratch, but he gets another one for the card. Yeah. So, uh, two flags and an HQ token. I think he's not happy with that because I can ignore those two, which I will. Pretty bad for him. Hmm. He's quite unlucky here now. But, okay, so the next one. He could fire at these, but that will only give him two dice. I think he wants to take the opportunity to roll three dice here, so he will fire three dice against my machine gun. Uh, 
and that's one hit. Like that. And then he has these. That will fire also at my machine gun. This time with two dice. That's another hit. Maybe he wants to do that with the last one as well. One, two, three, four. He has to range. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to wear down my machine guns now. But he didn't get score a hit there, but he grab, can grab another one of these though. Okay. It was a bit unlucky there. Here we are taking 50% damage of the unit now. So, hmm. Yeah, and it's not in a position to retreat anywhere, so I need to just keep it there until it's gone and try to inflict as much damage as I can. So, this is played now. We give the British player another card, command card, and then we'll check the status of his. HQ tokens, which I count to seven, meaning he will actually grab a card this time. And he got himself the Matahari spy. So he can, okay. You know, this is. Uh, This is a bit um, questionable card for my solitaire play. I mean, of course, we could... I mean, in a normal case, he would draw three command cards from my hand and return one. And then I will only, you know, get one additional. I think I need to... I think I will keep this card in play though. And it will cost him 5, but I will... Think, I haven't thought about this card. I think I'll go with a rule, kind of a, you know... Uh, we just discard these two. Then... We draw another one, and for like... Two... The next next two draw phases, let's say, I can only draw one card. Maybe that's something. Yeah, I think I go with a rule like that. So, discarding these, draw another one my next turn. I may not even use it beforehand. And then, uh, the next two times I draw a card, I can only draw one card. I think we'll go with that. Uh, question is, if I would have gotten the, this card, how should we play it then for the enemy side, since they only have one card? Uh, maybe in that case I just would have discarded this one. Anyway, yeah, I, don't, I don't have any... One way would be to, you know, grab two card from the deck, and I choose which one the enemy will have. That will give me two benefits. One, I can choose which one he gets, and the other one, I can I can see him beforehand what he will play the next turn. Something like that, maybe. It's a good house rule for that. Okay. Uh, I'll think... Yeah, we have played... Uh, yeah, it's my turn actually now, right? My turn six. We haven't played that yet. Okay. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll play this one. Uh, outflanked. Two in the left and two in the right section. Uh, A 
I think I will, on this section I will prepare for an assault. I have the assault card for the next turn, so then I can do some good things there. So I will activate two infantry units here. And on this side I will just fire. Now I have my machine gun freed up again so it can range fire at some guys here. So I will just fire with two units here. Okay, so let's start the movement. I could play mm, I could play this one Bur give me a chance to fire already this turn with this I will move up this turn hmm. Don't know really. Is it worth it to play that already or not? Uh, I, I'm thinking of you know moving these guys one hex each, then roll the dice, get into the trenches, and still fire this turn. I mean, this guy. If I move this guy here, I would get two dice. But it's a bit risky because I'm in the open. No, I won't play that now. I'm just. But I, I will actually start the assault on this side now. So I will go here. It's time to clean the redoubt of British units now. So I will start up the attack. And from this flank I will move up here. Like that. So we have units in place. And here I will only fire. Uh, and I will fire at his... Does it really matter? Well, it does. It's better fire at that guy, I guess, because if we force him to retreat, he needs to go in the open. This guy can retreat in the trench. So, let's fire with the machine gun here first. Three dice against that guy. Uh, nothing. And then we have two dice attack. Let's take the same guy. And that's nothing. Okay. We are done. We'll grab another one. Okay, we got three in the center. Fair enough. Okay, and we now should I put pick up those or get me another card? Uh, hard to tell, but uh, I will actually grab this time two more of these. I mean that could give me a chance to play a card and still do a barrage somewhere if I wanted. So with that we are in the end of turn six. We have a solid German lead, 3 to 0, and well, none of the sides have a decisive grip here, but I'm sensing that the Germans have maybe a bit more control of the situation here. British still have lots in the open, uh, we have machine guns here. This machine gun is really valuable, in a good position there. Uh, we have a good bomber strike force here ready to attack. We have another bomber which I will need to press up here eventually. And we have this mortar here that can support this flank. So, and we have the artillery observation advantage as well. So, I think the Germans are in a better position compared to the British but it's not over and I mean you need to get seven of these so it's uh, 
it's still open. Okay, thank you very much for watching and um, I will soon start recording a new video starting with turn 7. Bye bye.